Hey turtle nerds, welcome back to another video. In today's video, I wanna show you guys how I turn this into this. So guys, like I mentioned, this is my plan. My plan was to take this greenhouse that I got and put it over this entire enclosure and make like a little area for the animals that can't overwinter, for Mr. Urkel, for Mr. Pancake, for Butternut the box turtle, and for any other species and critters that I need to keep warm and can't handle, or I don't want to go through the winter. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started on opening this up, figuring out directions, and then I guess I'll begin the construction. Some time has passed. This only took me like two or three hours to set up, and I did it like almost entirely alone. So, um, we're like almost done. Just for the sake of time, I'm probably not gonna put on the plastic today, but like this is, <laughs> this is pretty much it. This is the, uh, the greenhouse. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this thing, put it on here probably tomorrow, just cause I'm kind of tired today and I'm in no real rush, even though it is chilly. You know, I, I'd rather get this on tomorrow, see how it holds heat throughout the day rather than now when the sun is already pretty much setting. So this is pretty much the entire frame for the thing. Uh, I'm gonna have, 110 gallon stock tank maybe here or on the opposite side I might pull this whole thing forward towards me so I have more space I don't know how I want to do it I also want to have a little shelving unit for some hatchlings potentially depending on how warm it stays in here and yeah that's that's kind of it this is uh I don't know this is not freaking bad. I have those juvenile ornate diamondback terrapins. Those are definitely ready, uh, probably for something bigger, so I can set them up in, in one of these. Maybe I'll have a 110 on this side, maybe another 110 on the other side, and then perhaps I'll keep my hatchlings, like, literally along this thing, just because they're concrete mixing tubs, and, you know, why the heck not? I will be back when I throw the plastic on. I didn't go step by step because it was really easy, guys. Literally, I don't know, you take the... Take the frame, put it all together, and put, I don't know, nuts in, uh, it's literally a bolt and a nut. And I would hold a wrench on this side to hold the the, uh, the nut steady. And then I would take a drill and just and just lightly loosen it at first. And then when I was all done with everything put together, that's when I went around and tightened everything because otherwise, you know, things can shift. And if you tighten everything as much as it can go from the start, it might run into some problems later with getting things to like line up and fit. But yeah, I am I am very happy so far. So I will see this thing tomorrow. Guys, <laughs> the greenhouse is friggin' done. This was so easy. Take a look at this bad boy. This thing, Louie, what are you doing, puppy? The greenhouse is friggin' done. I cannot actually, I don't know. I can't believe I just did this. As we can see, just temporarily, I've moved in some of the inhabitants. There's my little red foot tortoise, Mabel. There is some type of bug that just got on in here and then just went right out. And then we have Mr. Butternut who is living in here as well. And this whole thing, so let's take a look at how warm it is outside compared to in here. So in the shade, so this is like air temperature, is like 70-ish degrees. So let's see, in the shade in here, that's only like a 10, okay, so guys, that is a 10 degree difference, right? 10 degrees, look, 82, 83, 81, maybe the ground over here, 84. So the air temperature is a good like 80 in here, outside is 70, and that is with all of the windows open, all of those windows open, and the entire front opened and it's up 10 degrees. I have a very good feeling about this winter. I mean, that is, I mean, that's 10 degrees with the front entirely open and all of the windows open except for one. And here's the little vents. I almost wish this thing had more ventilation, but I shouldn't need it because when it's winter, winter, uh, I'm gonna need all the heat that I can get. Whoops, tripping over stuff. So now about a week into operation of this thing and let me take you guys inside and we can chat about it a little bit more. First of all, there's little Mabel eating some little pieces of zucchini squash, munching away. And I always put her food in the water to make sure that she's nice and hydrated and I soak her every morning. But the issue is that, as you guys might be able to see, first of all, I have the entire friggin' front door open and I have to get up at about oh, by 11 o'clock I need to be out here and I need to unzip this and curl it up and open all of the vents because it's been surprisingly warm for the past like week and a half. It's been like mid 70s and so in here if everything is closed and all the vents are closed 
gets like well over 100 degrees I learned which is actually really like not good for the animals so then I was thinking well if it heats up that much then right before it hits nighttime about four or five o'clock right before it starts to get dark I close up all the vents let the temperature soar a little bit to like 95 degrees and then I zipper everything shut that way it'll hold the heat in but then within like three hours the temperature drops to like whatever it is at night i think it got below 55 like two nights ago at least that's what my sensor says for a couple of the really cool nights i brought uh jelly and otis in here and put them in this but right over here i have this little sensor it tells me the temperature and humidity and it goes directly to my phone and allegedly it got like really pretty freaking cold last night i'm not too sure how much i believe that entirely so it I, i'm so guys it's still like a work in progress i'm still playing with things and temperatures and figuring out how to get everything you know perfect so come nighttime like i said it uh it cools down a little bit too quickly in here and therefore um the goal is probably going to be to get a 110 gallon stock tank get some type of stuff to hold that heat water holds heat really really well and i'm also probably going to insulate i mean shoot i might insulate this entire back wall and maybe some of the upper panels but leave the vents um that way in the morning i can open it up but everything else i kind of want to be covered with some foam or bubble wrap because i want everything insulated for nighttime it heats up really easily during the day but it just doesn't hold it at night that is the biggest issue that i'm running into right now but regardless uh the animals are pretty much okay i'm still bringing in my little red foot tortoise mabel in at night just because i get nervous for her i don't want it to get too cold and until i figure out how to hold that temperature you're in um you know it, it's it's it works really really well but you know just some a learning curve some things to figure out guys it's you know totally normal now regardless i'm really really happy with this project and the way that it turned out um it's it's keeping nice and toasty during the day i just need to be on my a game when i'm you know getting up in the morning and opening up all the vents and whatnot making sure things stay nice and cool because it can very quickly heat up that's going to be a blessing though in the winter when it's 40 degrees but with the nice strong sun oh that should heat up to like 75 80 maybe and then the real trick is to hold those temperatures that is what i'm gonna figure out before it gets really cold and i'm gonna figure that out for nighttime temperatures once i get it all sorted out I will update you guys, but other than that, I'm really happy with this thing. I'm about to water my plants in there, and I could just like blast the hose in there too. It's so much fun. For 160 bucks, how could you beat it? Now, if you guys want to see everything in real time, see step by step, because there are some things going on in this greenhouse that I can't really talk about right now, make sure that you guys hit the link right up over here. Head over to my Patreon. I'm thinking that I may begin shifting some focus and putting out more content over there rather than over here. So if you guys are interested in seeing exactly what species I'm keeping in here and exactly what's going on, with the HOA, <laughs> make sure that you hit the link right up over here and head on over to the Patreon. Thank you again for watching. I'll see y'all in the next one.